Alright guys, Daniel here, 395 Junkie, and today is the big day. After about eight months of uh, anticipation, I am here in Chula Vista at Ursa Minor, and for those of you that aren't familiar with who Ursa Minor is, they will take your Jeep uh, hardtop, and you get rid of that, and they have a camper top that looks like a Jeep top, that will fold up into a tent. Uh, it opens up into a tent. So I placed this order about eight months ago and today uh, Chris over here was kind enough to come in on a Sunday which worked great with my schedule and just a couple days before uh, Mama Goose and I head out to Northern California for another trip which you guys will be seeing on the next video. But I thought uh, I'll shoot a quick little video today that gives you an idea what the Ursa Miner is, the install, um, what the process is and then once I get back home I'll do a little video of giving you guys a tour and everything else but uh, so far uh, down here today we're just gonna shoot some of the install uh, what it looks like and we'll show you guys around so I hope you enjoy the video so as you can see I got the top already off ready to go on I had a drive down here from Rancho with uh, no top on which uh, made it for a little bit of a cold drive but it's nice and sunny now and then here's the top right here and I got it color matched you have a couple different options when you order it you can get just the white top with the black textured uh, main part of it but I had decided to go with the painted uh, to match on the top like my old top and then of course the top up here is all painted to match so you can see it's opened up right now into uh, the tent part of it. And you got the back window, which we'll put on here shortly. You got the side window, which is just uh, kind of like how it came when it was uh, from the factory. You got the top, which is black and gray, which is perfect. And then you have these side mounts for my uh, awning which I'll put on when I get home and I just got to find a place for my light and I got to choose carefully so that I'm not drilling a bunch of holes in this thing and you got the Yakima racks on here I, I went with that option and then this one here can be adjusted on the track and then these are the front latches which will latch onto the Jeep and keep it from popping up while you're driving. I came from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Right, guys so they just finished the Ursa Minor doing the install pretty excited uh, they're gonna pull it out right now and uh, we'll give you guys a quick little look before I do the walk around
you find me Hope you find me When the sun rises When the sun doodad right there to okay. hold the bottom and you can do this really you're only going to use it if there's something on the roof or if you're in the snow right other okay. than that and how many pounds would you recommend don't exceed putting up on the roof uh it'll going? support like 40 or 50 pounds with it popped up okay but i try and tell everybody just pull the stuff off but i'm yeah. saying um but still don't put more than 50 on there like to just drive around yeah um the bars are rated for like a hundred pounds a piece, so with it closed, you can load it up. Oh wow! But the, and the Ursa Miner's fine carrying that weight. Don't be standing on the roof. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't be jumping around. Yeah. Don't go to NASCAR and see him do circles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you got a power outlet in the corner here. Power outlet in the corner here. Oh, like a little. Is it a power outlet or just 12 volt? Yeah, uh, like a little 12 volt. 12 Got volt, it. And then this one's a dual USB. Oh, nice. It'll be the same setup up front. Okay. One for each. Right. Little window in the front. Zips open to a screen mesh. All right. That's the inside. Nice, That's clean, it. Clean, simple. So anytime you're going up or down with the top, you got to have a door open and one of these hatch panels out of the way. Keep the airflow. Yep. Got you it. have a path for the air to flow. All right. So when you're going to close it, one side, whichever one suits you. Put the panel in place and mm -hmm. add above it. And then on this other side, you're going to take the panel and slide it forward, and then the pad is going to go straight to the back. Okay. Grab the strap, bring it down a little bit, start the side, bring it down about halfway, and it'll stay all by itself. Okay. Um, if you got any weight on this at this point, you're going to be supporting it with your arm. Got it. Because the struts are meant to balance the roof. Okay. Um, so from here, you're just going to take your outside arm and pull back, and then with your other arm, kind of push inward. Okay. So you get this nice pull. Nice. And while it's new, try and help crease the material that way. Let it learn that way. For you. Yeah. Okay. From here, you're just going to grab this and give it a tug. Okay. And you see as I tug it, that tip material swings way inside, like a foot away from the hinge. Yeah. So it's really hard to damage your tank <laughs> unless you're doing this wrong. <laughs> Got it. So from here, let's give it a little tug, bring this down. All right, so to close the back, two hands right here, pull down with your body weight. On each side? Yep. Front latch, down. But if you're pulling down with two hands, it's too tight. Got it. So don't drive around with the hatch like, like so put the hatch back in its place. Yep. I'm really bad at getting to do this right and then i'll be on a trail and my hatch panel will fall oh jeez yeah <laughs> that's not good situation what's going on before i left the house i put the i put the awning on here but the bolts that are holding the awning in are sticking out too far and it's rubbing up against the uh ursa minor so i already scratched the ursa minor in a couple spots uh, mama goose says wow 
Uh, so let's get these sawed up. Let's see if we can get this done. Luckily, Mike had a little air saw that I can work off the compressor and see if we can clean it up a little. Whatever you do, don't cut the Ursa Minor or the awning. All right guys, so let's talk about the Ursa Minor a little bit more. Uh, you've seen me set it up in San Diego and you saw me set it up in Nevada. And now we're in the Shasta uh, National Forest, right along the McLeod River. And uh, the next video after this one will be more of an in-depth of uh, our entire trip. This video here is just talking about the Ursa Minor. So as you can see, uh, uh, all you have to do is you lift it up like you saw earlier. Mama Goose opened the shades on the inside so we get some nice ventilation in there. And uh, on top, I've got two Yakima racks that are an option that you can get from Ursa Minor, which the rear rack slides forward and backwards depending on what you put up there, whether it's a basket or a float tube or whatever you want. Um, I elected to go with the color match Ursa Minor, which is a little bit extra. Otherwise, it comes with the uh, black texture, kind of like a Linex, which I wasn't real fond of, uh, so I went ahead and had a color matched on the body and on the top. And of course I got the uh, sliding Yakima racks. Uh, let's go ahead and hop inside and I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of the inside. All right, and on the inside here on in the front above the driver and passenger, you have uh, kind of like a convenience package that you can get, which has a couple uh, flaps here. You can put some maps in here or a pen or whatever. You have a zipper here that can unzip and you could put more storage stuff all in here. Uh, there's a little power package here, which you can see is charging Mama Goose's iPhone and her iWatch. And uh, this is for the lights upstairs, which I'm gonna show you right now. And that's just another regular old uh, 12 volt plug that you can use for charging. So uh, let's hop upstairs and I'll show you guys the sleeping arrangements. Okay. All right, so inside here, you've got the goose gear system, which works out perfect for the Ursa Minor combo, uh, cause it's kind of like a standing platform. But the idea behind the Ursa Minor is what you do is you hop in here, you move Either this is a hatch and this is a hatch. We've generally so far on this trip just kind of moved this one out of the way. And then you hop up here. All right, so once you're up here, you just kind of, I put my foot on the goose gear, kind of lift yourself up here. And then this is set up here. And I'm on this side, got the pillows here. Mama Goose is on this side. And you have, as you can see, you have full windows on both sides here, which these can be unzipped also. If you wanted to get in and out of the Ursa Minor from the outside, you could just by unzipping the screen and, uh, you know, standing on the wheel, the fender flare, whatever you want to do. But, uh, I mean, there's not much to show you in here. I've got, we've got some accessory lights right here, which are really cool. So if we're sitting up here, we can read a book or when we're getting dressed. But the biggest benefit that I found compared to the eye camper is when I'm down here, I could stand right here, put my pants on, wash my butt, do whatever I want to do. <laughs> and uh, uh, you have a lot, it's a lot easier to stand up, do a little, you know, walk around. You can set, I can set my laptop here if we did a long trip and I wanted to work on doing uh, a video. You know, I'm sitting here working and I got all the beautiful views out in front of me here. And uh, that's about it. So uh, we're so far, we're very pleased with the uh, Ursa Minor. Uh, despite the fact that the mattress is only two inches thick, it's very comfortable because it's like a foam and you don't really feel, even though sometimes I'm a side sleeper, I don't really feel the board underneath it. 
but it's only been a couple nights now. Tonight will be night number three. So we'll see how it how we do long term. I do have some uh, smaller blow up mattresses that I could bring up here, but until I need them, I'm going to try to keep it simple and go like this and uh, be good with it. And we got, of course, we have our down comforter that we use to keep ourselves warm. And that all stores up here. The pillows might be able to be stored up here. We're not keeping them up here just yet because I don't want to force it too much. I want to get familiar with the tent before I do a whole lot. So uh, that's about it for now. What we'll do in the morning, I'll go ahead and shoot a video of the process to close it. If I can remember, Mama Goose, remind me. <laughs> and uh, that's the Ursa Minor. So far, so good. We're real happy with it. And uh, if you guys are interested, put your order in because it's like an eight to nine month wait. We waited nine months to get this thing. And I'm so glad we did. It's worth every day that we waited. All right. So as promised, I wanted to show you guys how to close the Ursa Minor. And it's real simple. We just have the blanket kind of laid out long ways up there. Uh, you keep one of the hatch panels open and uh, pulled away so that the air has a place to flow as you're closing it. And it takes not even a minute. So watch this. And then once it's down, you just snap it into place. And now that the back is down, what we're going to do is go up front. And we have a couple latches here that all we have to do is turn it over, pull it down. And that's it. So, as you guys can see, the Ursa Minor was and is a very convenient way to travel from spot to spot without having to uh, take a whole lot of time to set up and take down. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you the Ursa Minor and uh, the ease of it and what it's all about. And now uh, Mama Goose and I are going to finish packing up here and we're going to go to our final destination on our trip that you guys are going to see in the next video so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions uh go ahead and leave it in the comments and uh, we will catch you guys uh later on down the road happy trails mm -hmm.